Good afternoon, you guys. Good afternoon. How's everyone doing out there today? I hope everyone is doing well in, in spite of what's going on and what is happening in our world today. But anyway, um, I'd like to thank God for waking me up this morning uh, and starting me on my way. And so glad and blessed to be here. And I'm so thankful to God for allowing me to be here. But anyway, um, I came on today because I've been uh, cooking up a storm. Because, you know, Chef Deb is back in the kitchen. Yes, I am. <laughs> because I was busy during the weekend, but we had a great time with, uh, with my son, Patrick Williams, who turned, just turned 49 years old. So, yes, I am I'm thankful that he came down from Atlanta and we had a great time. And I, all I was trying to do was show him some love and let him know that we care to thank and thinking of him. And I'd like to uh, thank those who attended his uh, birthday party. With us, I, I appreciate you guys, and I love you all. You all uh, made it possible with me. And I'd like to thank for um, all the stores, you know, and Win dixie for helping me out, and Andrea Scott-Jones for helping me out, too. And my nephew, Lynn Shea, who did that nice fruit tray. But anyway, let me get on with this. Uh, first of all, I know it's New Year Day passed, but, you know, I was busy. So every day is a holiday, and every day you can eat whatever you want to eat. <laughs> But anyway, I had to come back and do my black eyed peas because, you know, I was I was busy. So I didn't have time to do my black eyed peas. So here they are. Garlic powder in there, onion, uh, uh, garlic rather, onion powder, uh, black pepper, sea salt. And of course, you had to have the hog jaw. So I fried mine and, uh, in my skillet. And then I salt hey, uh, some onions and got together. I had three bay leaves and I had two tablespoons of, of um, grease. I didn't, um, I didn't put the olive oil in there. I had some bacon grease that I saved. So that's what this is, honey. In here, look at that. See the onions? Got them real little, can't even tell. But that's what this is, is honey. I had to have my black eyed peas. <laughs> it's tradition, you know. Just a man-made thing, but you know, hey, what can we say? It's just a game we all play, and uh, it's a good thing, and, you know, it is what it is. Next, you know, we had to have that green for money. <laughs> so this is my cabbage with shredded uh, smoked turkey necks. I cooked my turkey necks first and boiled them off, and then I, I um, added some uh, cayenne pepper in there, and um, some pepper flakes, rather. Pepper flakes and a little um, cracked black pepper. Look how pretty that is. And I uh, did some onions and garlic together and bell pepper. I sauteed that before I put it in here. And some, um, a little salt, sea salt rather, and some chicken broth. I had some chicken uh, bouillon cubes that I used and I put them in some water and I pulled that into my cabbage and I let all that simmer with my turkey necks. And um, that's what it turned out to be. And uh, it came out so great and it smells so good, you guys. Look at that. The shredded smoked turkey necks. Yes, it's so pretty. Looks so good. <laughs> you know how I do. Yes, that's what that is. Cabbage. Let y'all savor it. Black eyed peas. See how pretty my peas are? You rinse that water off, you guys, before you add all your ingredients. Let it come to a boil and rinse, pull that off, and then put some fresh water in there. And of course, you know, I got here my favorite famous cornbread muffin. Cornbread muffin from scratch. Yes, they are. My hands are clean. <laughs> Pretty. Look at that. Just beautiful. A little mayonnaise. I put a little sugar in there. Some buttermilk. Shortening. Flour and meal. Cornmeal and one egg. And Lord have mercy. Good Google Malu, like they say. Look at this, you guys. Take a time and savor it. Let your eyes roam over this. <laughs> Let your eyes roam over this. Can you guess what this is? What? You say it's a Boston butt pork roast? You guessed correct, honey. You guessed it correct. This is a Boston pork roast. 
I uh, seared it on top of the stove in some olive oil with some uh, garlic powder, onion powder. Some uh, I did Mrs. Dash for my salt, and I cover both sides with it in some Hidden Valley ranch uh, ranch seasoning dressing mix. You know that powdered and Andrew gravy mix. That's how I got this beautiful gravy. Uh, and uh, I got some peppercini peppers. See how pretty the gravy is rich. Got onions in there and bell pepper I crushed real good. And some carrots, potatoes. See, it's beautiful. Look at that rich stock. Just gorgeous. Slice my uh, carrots up and my potatoes and put those pepper. Look at those good peppers in there. And I put a half of about two teaspoons of butter on top of the meat. And I baked it and then I just uncovered it so it can get a little brown finish in it. So that's what it turned out to be. Look at that. And look at those pretty vegetables. They are so pretty. Look. <laughs> oh, Lord, y'all want some. Look at the gravy. <laughs> oh, you guys want some. <laughs> but anyway, um, you guys... He, uh, please keep in our prayers the Mosley and Howe family and my um, and the Foy family as they are going through their bereavement period. We want to lift our hearts and our prayers to their, those families. That's the Foy family, the Hall and Mosley family. You guys, we love them and um, all, uh, all the bereaved family that's going through 